all right guys so you guys can see they got the older version van right here okay so you can actually choose this van or you can choose the newer version same price still very good gas mileage so i'm gonna go ahead and choose this one right here guys it's newer probably better probably the ac works better so yeah so you guys can choose that one or this one same price okay might as well get the new one right All right, guys, so we're going to be renting a U-Haul van today, okay? So it's a nine-foot van, cargo van. I did it online. And my reservation is today at 11 a.m. And then you can press the details to see what you, you know, what you ordered. So I did everything online, okay? So it's gonna tell you the reservation number. Wednesday, 5.17 at 11 a.m., the address. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using the van for 24 hours. Per day is $19.95, and then per miles is 79 cents, which is not bad at all. They charge you environmental fee, $1. And I also got the damage coverage, collision damage waiver for 25 bucks. You know, I always get it because just in case something happened, you know. And then the total at pickup will be 45 bucks or $46. That includes the uh, damage protection, damage, collision damage waiver. All right, so that's it. Getting ready to go to the U-Haul. Uh, location and uh, pick it up and then I'll share with you guys how the van looks like how big it is and all that we'll do a walk around so you see how it is so that way you don't have to drive a big old box truck that's what I'm trying to avoid is a box truck so that's why um, I'm renting this van right here looks less intimidating Hey everyone, it's One Stop Guy. How's everyone all doing today? Hoping everybody is having a great day today. All right, guys, so today I need to rent a van, guys. The U-Haul van. All right, so one of these vans hopefully should fit my queen-size bed and a bunch of big stuff. I uh, don't want to drive any of those big old box truck right here behind me right here. I mean, I rented them before, but I think these vans right here are a little bit less intimidating and easier to drive, you know. So, uh, yeah, let's go rent it out and let me share with you guys. All right, let's go. Same price, huh? 20 bucks? Yeah, they're both gonna be the same price and same on uh, mileage as well. Yeah. All right, guys, so we just got the key here. Let's go and uh, find the truck. And I believe he said that one right there, the second one, the newer version. There's two types, okay? There's one on the right, a little bit older, uh, but I prefer the newer one. So that way it drives better, better AC and all that stuff, you know what I mean? And it's pretty big, so. This is it right here, guys, $19.95 per day. And if you guys wanna buy the 
collision waiver it's up to you guys okay and um, plus 79 cents per miles and uh, I think it's not too bad 1995 is pretty cheap you know all right so let me do the quick walk around and let me share with you guys So as you guys can see, it's pretty roomy. So the van fits two people, right guys? All right, guys so you guys make sure you guys check the fuel okay so this one is 7 8 full so just make sure to bring it back the same so that way they don't charge you you know all right and also check the miles so 1201 this van is actually still pretty new Right, pretty cool guys actually has a backup camera which I need really really cool all right guys so we're actually home so let me give you another shot of the van here all right guys so earlier I only opened the back so right here is actually the middle side where you can actually open it and slide some stuff in here as well okay so you can use the trunk side or the back side and the side so that way it's easier here. And once again, you guys can see the inside is actually pretty roomy. I think this is gonna do it for me. You dent, you pay. So be careful, okay guys? That's funny. All right, as you guys can see, we can fit my little futon, queen size uh, box spring, and the mattress, queen size. And we also put the TV on top. And then that long old drawer over there. Let me go over there, let me show you real quick. There it is. So if you guys don't want to drive a big U-Haul box, you know, the, the truck, the box truck, looks intimidating, right? So you guys can get uh, something like this, a van. I think it works. 
All right, guys, so now we're on the road. Driving the van is actually not too bad. Much easier than uh, those big box trucks, okay? Uh, we've rented those before, but uh, you know, it's a little intimidating, you know, if you guys don't want to drive like a big old box, uh, box truck, you know, intimidation, you know, hard to drive. I think this van is perfect. And uh, yeah, we're heading out and I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I may uh, rent this van again next time if we have to uh, move or do some, you know, deliveries or whatever. All right, that's it. Take off. Alright guys, so time to return the U-Haul uh, truck. Make sure you guys uh, pump gas, okay, to the level that you guys picked it up from. So that way you, they don't charge you so much money, okay. Try to find the cheapest gas station as you can, okay, because this one is actually pretty cheap. It's like only almost uh, $3.90 something cents per gallon. That's pretty cheap because normally it's up to like 5 or $6 in my area. So yeah, just make sure you guys pump up the gas, okay? All right, guys, so that's about it. Time to go return the truck. Make sure you guys pump gas just like I just did. And uh, make sure you guys sweep out the floor. Otherwise, they're gonna charge you cleaning fees and all that stuff. And uh, that's it. We're heading out back to the U-Haul location to return the truck. Hope you guys enjoy the video of the cargo van as you guys can see, it fits um, a queen size bed, box spring, uh, pretty big things. Actually, I think the van is actually pretty uh, good, actually better than the, the uh, box truck. If you guys don't want to drive something big, you know, like it, that looks intimidating or whatnot. And it's less um, gas eating also, okay? So the van gives you more gas mileage. Um, but when, but again, you, got, you guys gotta do it maybe two trips or so because the box truck is a little bigger. But if you don't mind, you know, if you don't have too much stuff, the van is pretty good, which I think was good for me. And it works out pretty well. And not and not having to drive a big old box truck everywhere. You know, because sometimes the box truck doesn't fit where you need to go, right? Because if you guys live like in apartments or whatever, or somewhere small, it's really hard to drive a box truck. So it's actually good to uh, rent a van. All right, but that's just my own opinion, my own experience and, and what I need. So the van was perfect. I give it a thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions or comment, leave them down below. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, okay? And tap on a notification bell. So whenever I upload any new videos, you'll be the first to be notified. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.